Everything's all right. Every day you can find a hundred year old young baron known as Buddy sitting on his front porch. Well, I just said I didn't enjoy it. You know, thinking about the old times, even when I first came to Macon, how everything looked and how everything was. He's been living in the same house in Macon's historic Pleasant Hill neighborhood for more than 70 years. When I first got here, it, it, everything here was looking beautiful. Buddy remembers when little Richard lived just up the block. When I first came to Macon, well, he was standing right, 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 right down there. The 100 year old thinks he's the oldest man in the neighborhood now. I and mean, I'm the only, only somebody I know here living is just to speak of it. This big milestone led Mayor Lester Miller to proclaim April 6th as Mr. Young Buddy Barron Day. It's so much excitement that I, 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 can't, just, I can't even explain it all. Diesel Moore <laughs> is one of seven of Buddy's grandchildren. He said two elementary schools sent birthday cards for the big day. He's not no Nobel Peace Prize, he's not a doctor, no lawyer, but he's, a, he's been a mentor in my life. Moore said Buddy shares with him the neighborhood's history, but also the country's history. So he's like a, um, like a walk in the um, library. Moore said that Buddy's great-grandfather was a slave. <laughs> well, being right his great-grandfather to now, man, like, all oh, I know he's like uh, our family in heaven looking down on like, wow, Buddy. So what's the secret to live up to a century? The, good, the goodwill of the law, the goodwill of God, that's all. In Macon, Caitlin Sabater, 13 WMAZ News.